Um, as your offense has struggled for consistency, you guys have been very consistent in the nine or ten games or without allowing more than 21 points. What has been key to that? And which pride do you take in holding the teams in? Yeah, we take a lot of pride. Uh, we want to perform very well on defense. Uh, I think the, the the best part about this defense is uh, any anybody on on the, on the defense can have a big game at any moment. It's kind of like give or take on who's going to show up uh, on Sunday, and uh, yeah, it's like a surprise. Who's the surprise this week? <laughs> this past week, well, I mean, obviously you've seen Brisk uh, jump out on tape a lot, man. Uh, I feel like they kind of snubbed him on the uh, player of the week type of deal, man. He had a lot of stats, a couple tackles, and uh, a pick and one and a pick call back, so. We're going to see who it is this upcoming week. How good is the Carolina offensive line? What makes them good, I should say? I mean, they're, they're, they're actually very good. They're well paid. They uh, invested a lot in the, uh, invested a lot into the uh, offensive line this past offseason. Um, they're physical. Uh, they have a vet and a uh, Moten at the, at the top spot. So, um, yeah. What makes you think that's something that's something that's something that's I mean, he's, he's, he's very uh, good off contact balance. Um, his, line, his, line, his line blocks from the left. So, you know, you can't, uh, can't pass without the run. You can't run without the pass. So, uh, yeah, he opens up a lot of stuff for the offense. Have there been aspects of your run defense that you guys think you need to button up a little bit? Uh, definitely got a little leaky last game. Uh, Chris Deshaun, we made the guy with those, those plays up. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's always something that we can improve on. Just staying, just staying gap sound and having them line back and shoot them gaps. Those guys help change the offense. Uh, it seems like he's doing he's doing a well job. Um, he's getting the ball out quicker, uh, for one. And, uh, yeah. Your guys' pressure rate's gone up a lot in the second half as opposed to the first half. Is there any rhyme or reason to that? Just like, is that halftime adjustment? Is that a yeah, I mean, uh, we obviously want to get off to a fast start. Uh, I think that's the emphasis this week is starting fast. But uh, as the game goes on, you get a feel for where the slide is, what type of, how the, how the, the guy across from you wants to attack you and stuff like that. So, you know, you come in, have time, make game plans, make game situations and changes and stuff like that. But, Tez, has the, the way they've been kind of rotating you guys in the first half helped you finish games? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I, I've been taking a look at my at my play count. I feel like I'm, I've been at the 80%, 85% mark type of deal. Um, yeah, we just want to we, uh, we want to stay fresh on third down, and man, we want to be able to finish in two minutes. So. What do you is like that about kind of the ideal spot for you to be at? I don't know necessarily. We still kind of getting a feel for it, um, but I mean, if you can go, you can go. If not, you can't. You guys move, move guys around a lot, line a lot. What do you like about when Darren Taylor's on the same side as you? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> ET likes getting after the QB man. He has an Arsenal pass rush moves, uh, and also gives a different look for the for the offensive line. Uh, what are they doing? What are they? Are they about to run the game? Are they about to run straight? Or, all those type of things, so yes, as far as pressure with your team. You're your defensive coordinator at Washington kind of smiled when he thought about you two on the same time, but he didn't want to give too much away about it. Is that kind of the feeling, like this is a nice little weapon that you guys have going on? Yes, uh, something that we can uh, bring out every now and again. It's not it's not an every down thing, and it's not a, uh, something that we call the last, but uh, when we bring that front out, we obviously want some production out of it, and that's uh, what we plan on doing. Couple more, guys. Y'all need to be beating up on each other. Yeah. It seems like they're wide nines kind of lines you guys have a little bit before they're caught. Is that anyone that you gave to? Is that kind of noticed over your career? Like, more teams, more lines, and 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 more lines, it can vary. Is there an advantage to that for you as a pass rusher? Sometimes, I mean, you, you think if, if uh, there's a tight end on the line and they spread out a little bit, they obviously want you to get you away from the tackle and farther away from the QB. Sometimes you can duck inside, but it may not uh, complement the play type that we have on the defense side of the line. So it's good to take. Jalen was saying just now that as good as the defense is there, it feels like there's more you can do, there's more takeaways, more everything. Is that, do you feel like you can share that? Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, I know the defense a lot, a lot more well than I did last year. So uh, I'm uh, actually having people, people on the line uh, remember plays like they was kind of doing for me last year. So, um, yeah, it gives me a. Uh, the continuity to move around on the other lines of the show.
like the mayor 